RIP to recently deceased referee Eddie Cotton, who sadly passed from COVID-19, I think over the last three days at the age of 72. The overall death toll now in the world is I think over 160,000. But of course, Eddie Cotton was part of boxing's family and that's why I'm doing a little video about him. He is the man, of course, who will always be linked with the super fight that was Lennox Lewis against Mike Tyson. I was just about 16 at the time, stayed up all night over here in the UK. They were like ring walking at 4 a.m., real nervous, hoping Mike Tyson could turn back the clock. It didn't work out that way, obviously, but Eddie Cotton, I think, did a pretty good job for what was a really big fight that would have been tempting for certain referees to try and do unnecessary interventions or try and make a name for themselves through just being overly pernickety, which you can sometimes get with those absolutely massive fights. There was a, maybe a little bit of favoritism or at least mercy towards Mike Tyson. When he dipped down in about round six, it wasn't actually a knockdown, but Eddie Cotton came in for Mike Tyson at, at that particular moment, who was looking very sorry, both eyes swollen and cut, and gave him at least a bit of a standing eight count. He also told Lennox Lewis off a little bit. I think he was acting as if most of us were feeling, because Tyson was pretty much done after the first round. Another fight that I'm aware that he was a part of, also at heavyweight, which he was very well suited to, being a very big man, probably found it easier to separate the big boys. He refereed the rematch between Riddick Bowe and Andrew Galotta, I think in 1996. Now that must have been a curious experience, both a pleasure and a pain to referee, because on one hand, it was a fantastic fight, both Riddick Bell and Andrew Galotta had their moments, had each other down, much better than the first fight. But like the first fight, it ends with cock shots. And Andrew Galotta gets disqualified, not from just a shot, but a combination to the bollocks. And I remember Eddie Cotton just went, that's it, that's it. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous to see that. Other than that, I'm not that well versed in him as a referee. I mean, they say the best referees are the ones you can't see, but Eddie was a big guy. It was hard not to see the guy. But just in general, for any referee, it is a really hard gig. They always get criticised. It's not a job you go into to make fans. Again, it's just a job where you try not to be seen, to do your role, and that's it, and you disappear. A lot of respect to anybody who chooses to be a referee. And my condolences to the rest of Eddie Cotton's family.